throw it. <laughs> Look, I got safety glasses. There's absolutely no fluids all over the ground. I was like, what is going on? There's two lug nuts on there. Oh, yeah, that's, that's me. <laughs> that's me. I've been ringing donuts with this thing non-stop, man. Like, like I seriously. Yeah, I, I sat on the donuts for that. I sat on the floor while he was ringing donuts the entire life. Man, range has been known for camber. That'd be. That'd be. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's safe. So, Bourney Fest is pretty much a festival that we started. It was three people. We decided to hang out and build cars for for five days together, and uh, we ended up finishing up one of my friend's cars and kind of just hung out and bonded, did our thing for five days, and it's grown from there to our festival now. That's you know over a hundred people, and it's just pretty much four days straight of people coming, building cars. They all come to my place. Uh, they go in my backyard to my shop. And we just work together and build cars. Uh, sometimes it's one car, sometimes it's four cars. This week we're doing four cars. And all kinds of people from all over the country come. They bring their cars, we cruise around, we do a good time, we cook for people. We have, it's just a really good friend bonding thing. And it really makes the culture. Uh, it's, you know, it kind of like puts people together and makes friendships. You know, people come here and they, they end up with lifelong friends that you never knew you would ever have, and it's it's amazing. He's about to crawl underneath it. That's why I'm saying it's not. Let's take that off. Hold on. I need the hammer. Wait, I might no. Good? Yeah, like watch out. Oh, it's good. Ow, that hurt. Right there. It's gotta go to our review. Oh, I just got run over by a car with no motor. <laughs> <laughs> it was brand new. Brand new. Brand new, brand new motor mount. Brand new. <laughs> Push this truck. <laughs> All right, we're good. Watch out. Push the truck. Raise it up. Raise the engine up. What the fuck? Yeah, well, I just hand it Roll her over. Put it on the car. I was Give me a duct tape and a marker. 87 Ford Ranger runs great. 30 day warranty. All Did you shake yourself? Did you shake yourself? All right. Get the trailer. Oh, you're getting Josh, a fat lip. The trailer now. Josh. I just got a fat lip from a tree. It's pissing. If that golf cart has a flat tire tomorrow when my wife comes out, everything's over. It's over, shut it down, Everybody's everyone get out of here. <laughs> All right, that's ready to come out from the other side. Get it out, don't look. Uh, steering column. Right. We need it right here. Lefty, righty, right? Yeah. America. Yeah, something like that. Pull out. Pull, pull out, out. I don't pull out. Pull out. Yeah, we know. My name is Brian White. Uh, I've been hanging out with Josh here at Village Customs probably four or five years and coming to Bernie Fest. Uh, I do a little bit of everything. I can, you know, master of no trade, jack of some, I guess, a little bit of welding, a little bit of metal work, uh, mechanic work, that kind of stuff. Um, learning to do a little bit of everything here, don't really specialize in anything. Been coming to Bernie Fest, I guess it's like four or five years now. Um, incredible experience uh, getting to participate in something like this. There's so many different uh, talented people that come here that uh, have all different skill levels. They all come together with common goals and common interests and uh, it's just a great experience all the way around.
I've always messed around with cars a little bit here and there, but never really built a car from scratch, you know, like these guys do. And I got it in my head that I was going to build a rat rod. So I started looking and I, I found Village Customs in this area. Uh, was really talking to him in the beginning just about the suspension that he sells. And um, Josh, being the kind of guy that he is, he invited me over to start participating and, you know, helping him out and teaching me different skills. So that really... Uh, it took me from being a customer to being a, a friend with Josh. So um, my car was built during Bernie Fest. I think it was two and a half or three and a half. They all sort of blur together right now. Um, you know, and if it wasn't for the folks here, the, you know, my car would probably still be sitting in the garage, honestly, right? There's so much help that I got from, um, not just during Bernie Fest, but from the friends that I made during Bernie Fest and relationships, you know, um, they've helped me tremendously and getting my car assembled and on the road. And it's a 31 Model A Ford. Um, it's uh, you know, all patinaed out, I guess you call it. Uh, Ford driveline, automatic, and it's sitting on the Village Custom suspension and frame. And uh, you know, I drive it everywhere. As long as it's uh, not going too far, it's just pretty much my daily driver. Um, you know, it, it, within a year, I had about 5,000 miles, under 6,000 miles. So. Um, I love it. I love the community that this has created. Made a lot of great friends, met a lot of nice people, a lot of smart people, and it's just an amazing experience to be a part of. show and I saw Corbett and I was like man they're, they're built of wood they're a 20s car and I was like man I can build that out of metal we came over built it and uh, we built a replica of a Corbett and it's really cool it's it's on airbags and everything it lays on the ground but it still comes up to the, the height that a Corbett would but I've had non-stop engine problems and the motors just given us a lot of problems and it's it, it was a V8 small block Chevy that we didn't really it didn't fit the build but it was what we had laying around at the time so we decided to go with a Mercedes turbo diesel and we might be doing a compound turbo diesel um, depending on how much time we have this weekend. But we're going to swap that out and put a little turbo diesel in and make it whistle and blow smoke and everyone likes it. Uh, we're also doing a Model T that I bought from a guy down the road. Uh, it was the last thing that his father touched the night before he passed away. And uh, he really didn't want to get rid of it. And I talked him into, I told him that it could either sit there and rot or within a year, I will drive it back to you and I'll let you drive it. And I thought that was something special. So I'm, I'm really excited to get it on the road and actually drive it over there and be like, hey man, here you go, I told you and I made a promise. And I, I don't lie when I make a promise. So I thought that was cool. On top of that, we're also finishing up a car that a bunch of us built uh, a few years ago that we lost interest in and it just kind of sat on the side and it's been probably about 80% done. So now we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and finish it up. A couple guys really wanted to see it on the road. Uh, so they're, they're doing a little bit of extra stuff, getting everything mounted up and getting it driving. It's a little diesel uh, Model A that we built from scraps, uh, piles of nothing and pieces of junk that we found uh, in a field, actually. <laughs> so, so it's a lot of cool stuff that we're building right now, and a lot of people are very interested in it. And it's, it's, uh, it's cool to see everyone want to come and do all these cars with us. And it's, uh, it's special. Why are you a funny 
in the big machine work at the same tip. I like to Every time I start to tell this story, and I, I just got this story the other day. Um, my friend, I bought this motor from him, and it came in a full car, and I bought the whole car for like a hundred bucks. Uh, it's been on their farm forever. But his sister used to drive this to uh, to school every day, and then it got hit and whatever. But he used to have vacuum issues, and he told me that every single day at school to turn the car off because he's uh, the injection pump on this actually needs vacuum to turn off. She would have to get up out of the car, turn the car off, get out of the car open the hood and then suck on the vacuum lines until the car turned off. And that's how she turned it off every day at school. And all I can think is like, what kind of nicknames did your sister have at school? And that's, it's terrible. <laughs> it's great though. <laughs>
blew it up. The only thing was, was the Tokyo Drift song. <laughs> <laughs> we can put we can put that in. <laughs> Yo, everybody's looking at this. Everybody's looking. At, look. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> We put the yin over the yang and the yang won't go inside of the yin. So we need to ling the yang, so it's yang ling. And first bam that didn't work like that. He'll be back in a minute. So today, uh, what we did on the 39 Dodge, we cut the roof off, we're getting ready for a chop, I marked everything out, the guys cut it, um, actually Zach cut it, and he's never chopped a truck, which is really awesome. So it's his first time, you know, really getting into this stuff. We got the roof off, everything's marked up, we're ready to put it back on tomorrow. While the roof was off, we decided to do the floor structure, um, all the all like the, the substructure and everything, and tomorrow we're probably gonna do uh, sheet metal on top of that. We'll use the bead roller and all that. And, uh, I'm also gonna get the guys to actually hand build a bed. I have the tools to do it. it. It'd just be a lot more fun to have them actually fabricate a bed instead of cutting another one up and doing a bunch of smoke and grinding and all that. We also on Dizzy, we have a new injection pump put on. Everything's ready to go. We're pretty much ready to fire it up. Just a couple little things that are bumping up. Uh, they're putting air ride on it, the, uh, the management and all that stuff. On the little roadster, we have all the suspension just about done, except for the airbags on the front. Uh, the motor's in, the body's just about to be on. Probably the next hour. The wheels are all mounted, everything's looking good. Things are flying. Oh, and the, the Corvette, we also did a Corvette job. Um, I said I'm sitting on. We have a turbo 350 bolted to a Mercedes five cylinder diesel, turbo diesel. And um, we're gonna stick it in tomorrow morning first thing. So things are looking awesome. These guys are really kicking ass. Everything is really going fast, and they've really enjoyed doing this. It's awesome. So can't uh, can't say anything bad at all.
Zach. I'm a new welder, fitter. Do some work up here at Village Customs. Learning Fest this year has been uh, this is quite the experience. I didn't realize what I was getting myself into. It's a long night. It's a lot of work. It's a really fun experience. I mean, people coming from all over the states to get in on being a part of these builds and get together and have a good time. It's really a great opportunity to learn. If you don't want to work, you can just sit and watch and pick up a lot of knowledge here. I don't currently own a rat rod. I got a lot of uh, projects, but rat rod might be in my future. It'd be nice to uh, build some after seeing everybody else around here. I'm kind of, I'm kind of the outcast here, driving around in a stock vehicle. I'm uh, got a lot of ideas. Just got to put put them into action. Yo, so I want to talk about Zach's truck, but like Zach don't know Zach owns a truck right now. So, so this one's a little bit special. I have a new employee. His name's Zach, and he's been working here probably about eight months, and he's really. He's really done an amazing job. He's really pushed for my company. He's really like pushed to try to get our stuff out the door. He's worked hard, he's stayed late, and he's done more than I've ever expected. And I thought that, you know, as a good payment, you know, more than just like financial compensation for what you're doing, as a good payment, I'd build him a car. Um, he's really, he started going to the car shows with us and he started to get into this culture and seeing everything that's amazing about it and seeing the people that are amazing with it. And uh, I thought it'd be a really awesome thing to give him a car. Um, so he, I've been pushing him really hard in there to build his own car and he has no idea whatsoever. He's been in there welding the frame and everything and I, I've kind of been dogging him a little bit and telling him to hurry up and stuff. You know, we have, we have a deadline, you know, we gotta get this done by Saturday, but he has, he has no clue he's actually building his own truck right now. And I think it's something special that I can do for him to, you know, kind of get him into this, but it's, you know, it's, just a nice gesture. So to show him how much I actually value him and being a good employee here. Oh. <laughs> First off, welcome to Birdie Fest. Awesome. Um, I have a couple things. We have food for everyone. Obviously, Aaron's cooking. Thank you very much. Um, just kind of when they start. Yay! Food. As they start everything. Um, just kind of start grabbing food because that's when we're gonna eat. Uh, this is Born Again Heathens. They are awesome. Thank you very much for doing this. Yay! I have two things to do. Um, first, we, well, actually three things to do. First, I, want to, I just want to thank everyone to, you know, for coming and doing this. This is awesome. It's really a good time, and you guys are making it a good time for me, too. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. Um, I love you guys. I like you all. Uh, kind of have an issue. We have an MVP trophy that is somewhere over maybe Michigan by now? I don't know. No, it's, it's in an airplane and it's not here. But I had to pick an MVP this year and I asked a couple other people and they were like, hey man, you should do that guy. And it's like, that's actually who I was going to do. I got to ship you your MVP trophy. I'm sorry. So we'll just. Hey, Myers, you are our hey! MVP. Hey! Talk about somebody real quick. Uh, where's Zach? Is Zach even here? Did you leave? That's you. That's where are you? Zach. Hey, Zach's right there. Here's Zach. This is Zach. Hi, Zach. I'm sorry. Hi, Zach. I mean, I, I'm sorry. This sucks. I don't mean to like put you on the fucking spot or anything. But <laughs> Zach's been working with me for like three weeks, four weeks, something like that. Something like that. He's probably welded half of your fucking arms on your cars and stuff like that. And he's really done a lot more for me than I ever could have really wanted or dreamed of or asked for and I just want to say thank you 
You've really been kicking ass. Um, I've been kind of a dick to him the last couple days, and he doesn't really know why I've been a dick to him. I've been pushing him hard as hell to build this stupid ass truck over here, telling him that, you know, fuck, we gotta get it done for the build up. You know, we gotta get it done. You've actually been building your own fucking truck. He chopped it himself. <laughs> There's a reason you had to do all this shit. So, anyways, man, you deserve it. Thank you. Other than that, born again heathens. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hurry up and get the shit welded. <laughs> you got it? I knew you were a gamer. You know, it's what I'm here for. I support your back. Right on. This one's for the battered, the tattered, the torn up, the bruised, the bloody, the crap and the worn. What's that get up to enter the bell? No matter how many times we put them to hell. Yeah, they <laughs> Here we go, buddy. The green light. Fasten in. <laughs> you should not need a seatbelt to play a banjo. <laughs> It's a five-point fucking harness. Good. Lithium grease in there, shove it all in there. Pretty much, I don't ship them that way because if you want to, if you want to paint them, I'm screwing you. Yeah. Like you're. So I didn't, I didn't take the bushings all the way back apart. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just pull Inside, out. outside. <laughs> Perry's my real name. Go by Andy Cody on Instagram, and I run Model A Mafia. I met Josh actually on Instagram. Um, first, I met Chad, who ordered a suspension kit from Josh. Saw his car, reached out to Chad, found out it was uh, through Village Customs, and then reached out to Josh, and uh, we've been messaging ever since couple three years now so uh, after I hooked up with Josh on Instagram I decided to have him build me a roller for a 1930 model a two-door sedan so we set that up uh, came out here with a buddy and built a roller with Josh in 24 hours from the time we unloaded the trailer to the time we loaded it up was one day which was awesome so that was a, a really cool experience first time meeting Josh and uh, getting to build a roller with them uh, was awesome. So after I got the roller uh, back to Indiana, I finished the build in about a year, and that's when I got an invite from Josh to come out to Bernie Fest. So we made the trip last year. This is our second time out to Bernie Fest, and uh, fourth time to the East Coast to hang with these guys. A couple other badass rat rod shows on the East Coast, so we come every year we'll be coming back to Bernie Fest. I love Bernie Fest because you get to meet guys uh, from all over the country, guys with different skills. There's no egos here man. You can come in and just get in where you fit in or, or help them chop a, a truck cab or build a frame or set up suspension or whatever you're into. Uh, and that's what I really love about Bernie Fest is all, all the guys sharing their knowledge. Uh, projects and progress. It's an awesome community and uh, I'm honored to be a part of it. So Saturday Bernie Fest was awesome. Uh, everything everything went amazingly well. We had a lot of fun at Double Barley Brewing. Uh, we, we cruised around in our rat rods. We took a little bit of extra time doing a lot of fun activities. It was perfect. A lot of burnouts, a lot of donuts, a lot of back there hitting cars with uh, our cars and just just having a good time, you know, with, with our friends. Um, we did get pretty far on the cars. Uh, last night at our band and everything and our party at the end of that, uh, we uh, presented Zach with his truck and let him know that he's actually been building his own truck and uh, got a little teary eyed. So that, that was pretty cool. Uh, and now he's really excited. Uh, he's He's been 
opened up to this culture now and you know to come from someone that's you know into tuners uh like cars you know a little bit of light car stuff and and now he's seeing hot rod world and you know how how close we all work together and how all these people come together from all over the country and, and help each other out in these things so it was almost you know a couple of days ago he's like man I, I really want to start building one of these and everyone just kind of had to clench their mouth shut and, and not let him know that he, he was building his own car the whole time so so that went good. Um, we did not get as far as we thought we were gonna get. We don't care. It's really not about a time crunch. We're not trying to prove anything. We're just trying to have a good time and kind of picked a bunch of jobs that we could do and not overlap each other. You know, we didn't want too much of one thing, too much sheet metal, too much grinding, too much welding. Uh, so we built, you know, worked around that and did different kinds of jobs so that everyone would learn different things. And really, we had a dozen people come up and just, you know, thank us for learning from other people that you know not just me uh not just the people that work here you know learning from other people learning skills and trades that they would never have gotten somewhere else so it was it was a great time however the cars are not running and driving which is completely fine uh, this is the only one that we, we thought we would actually get running in we really just had a good time instead and it's awesome i mean it's really what bernie fest is about bernie fest is about friends and it's good